Hello Leo, welcome back. This is going to be your love forecast for the season of Virgo. So it is intended to resonate with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it cannot possibly be everyone's story. So if it is your love reading, then please comment below. And if not, please check your other placements for messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. So reverse roles, however they apply. And of course, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss future readings. So thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. Leo, you guys are awesome. Um, I do want to also let you guys know if you're new or you haven't already done so, uh, the description box is going to list all of my social media links and ways to contact me, including all the decks that I'm using in my reading today. So if you do feel these general readings are resonating with you and you'd like to go even further, please feel free to take advantage of the half price special I'm offering on my private readings until the end of August. You do still have time. So if that is you, I look forward to connecting with you in that way. So Leo, welcome back to the Enchanted Forest. I'm going to get started with the good tarot, uh, major arcana only, and find out what is the main theme or lesson that's going to be relevant for you when it comes to love in the season of Virgo. So this could be about you, about your person, combination of both, or for the cross watcher, really just depends on who you are. Either way, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Never force the fairy tale to fit. So what theme or lesson do we have for the sign of Leo? Anything else for Leo, please? Any other main themes that will be relevant for Leo and their person or just Leo? If you don't have a person, this could be about something coming in the future. So speaking of the future, we have the high priestess and the world. So the high priestess is intuitive. She sees the future, has visions, um, has prophetic dreams and is connected to the divine. This is divine feminine energy. So high priestess is an all knowing bad ice. Okay. She is very secretive, but not for the wrong reasons, not like a seven of swords secretive. This is someone who has the wisdom of the world, of the universe within them. And in order for them to share that information with others, they need to know that they're ready to receive that information. So with the world coming up in the image of planets aligning uh, with a keyhole here, I think that some of you have been intuitively seeing some sort of an ending of a cycle that's coming okay you could also be anticipating something ending and something new about to begin when I see these planets aligning in the perfect row I feel like on some level something needs to be unlocked or will be revealed based on planetary alignment coming up in the season of Virgo um, so if you are into astrology definitely look into the placements and things that are happening in the season of Virgo and match that up with your own birth chart obviously it's going to resonate differently with with people's placements but I see this as someone knowing that everything is being divinely guided that a major cycle is ending and something brand new and beautiful is about to begin so I see the world as the completion of the fool's journey as well so this high priestess is all-knowing because she has traveled the world in a sense maybe not literally but um, figuratively speaking so a very interesting way to start the reading Leo I am curious to see what's on the bottom of the deck the Hierophant. The Hierophant has been a really um, relevant theme here in these zodiac readings but spiritual beliefs order I see this woman doing a ritual here and um, similar to the magician energy she's got a lot of tools here on her desk so I say desk but clearly you know looks like we are existing in a time where there are more of like stone slabs versus decks but as I look even closer this looks like a chest actually with a lock on it so I do feel like Perhaps this new beginning that's coming after a major cycle ends could be 
a committed connection. For some of you, that's what you've been waiting for. Someone to marry, someone to call your own, someone that you feel spiritually connected with. So with the high priestess coming up, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the messages, the visions that you receive during the season of Virgo, because I feel like it's going to allow you to see into the future as to what's coming, okay? And hopefully what's coming is something of higher levels of commitment and spiritual beliefs. Um, <clears throat> so Leo, let's see what's coming from the... I love how we also have the fool when I cut the deck. So definitely new beginning vibes. I feel like for those of you who are watching this and you know that you have an amazing intuition, this is definitely resonating with you. So I'm very curious also to know, those of you who are watching, any sort of dreams you've had recently, especially since we just experienced the Neptune retrograde, um, which Neptune is obviously dreams, illusions, fantasies, and um, the full moon in Aquarius. So for some of you out there, that could be a very powerful combination that unlocked some sort of future vision for you, okay? So let's see what we have from the tarot. I'm done shuffling, I promise. So what's going on for Leo in the season of Virgo? <clears throat> Interesting. Page of Swords came out as the first card in the Aries reading as well. So somebody's watching me. Uh, this is the stalker energy, right? Someone watching you, keeping an eye on you. This could also be you keeping an eye on someone else, Leo, and maybe it is a mutual energy, but um, I think that this is someone really wanting to learn more about a person before they speak their mind, okay? Definitely the potential for a message to be sent. I feel like whoever this is definitely wants to talk, wants to communicate, but I think they're holding back to protect themselves, okay? For some of them, they're holding back to protect you is what I just heard. Oh, come on, Leo. Um, I don't think you need protecting, but maybe this person might think that you do for some reason. So, Hanged Man coming out next. New perspective, the new vision we were talking about, enlightenment, awakening. But, you know, this Hanged Man seems to have kind of given up. He's wiping his brow. Uh, he's probably about to run out of out of, out of oxygen with all the blood rushing to his head but you know this is spirit's way of dragging you up by your feet and hanging you from upside down from a tree to show you hey listen um you need to see things differently in order to awaken in order to accelerate and move to the next level hanged man is someone who is maybe even realizing their mistakes you know this looks like someone who just got caught up in a trap so maybe this person is feeling kind of stuck or held back from being able to go in the direction they want so holding back um tempering their their conversations with you even if you are in communication with this person and with the moon coming up here leo i do think that there's a lot going on below the surface with whoever this is as well there's deeper emotions and feelings there that have not been revealed but with the with the moon energy that's exactly what that is it is secrets being revealed truth coming to light so we talked about the Aquarius full moon and maybe um, having those dreams or visions or things coming to you from below the surface that are making you see things in that new perspective. And again, this could be your person as well. The moon is also divine feminine energy, same as the high priestess. Knight of Wands coming out after that. So we know the Knight of Wands gets that bad rap as the player, but you know, the Knight of Wands is also charismatic, okay? Fun, sexy, action-oriented. They have goals. They know they're going in some direction, but for some of them, they're going in too many directions. So I see this as someone with one foot in the door, one foot out the door. And coming up after the moon, that could be exactly why whoever this is isn't saying what they want to say right now. Maybe what they're afraid of is that, um, you know, they want something with you. Maybe they want to talk to you. Uh, again, reveal their deeper emotions. But maybe spirit is telling them not to because maybe they don't trust you and vice versa okay so whoever you are I know I keep saying that but I, I'm saying you 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 and I don't want you to think I'm talking about you Leo if it's not about you you'll know but 
Knight of Wands does have a vision and direction. And I do feel as if whoever this is has had sort of a soul calling. So as they're figuring out, um, as they're figuring out what their intentions are and learning how to commit to the feelings that they're having, I think this person could continue to evade you for a little while, okay? So let's go even further and see what else is coming. Wow, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, Luck, maybe even a large sum of money. I see the Wheel of Fortune as that prosperous new beginning type energy, but there does need to be that closing out of a cycle. So for whoever this is, they could be giving the wheel a spin, trying their luck. This person could be waiting for their luck to change, or again, they could just be waiting on some sort of um, situation to come into fruition involving money, involving some sort of financial gain, but... I also mainly see this as destiny. So like I said earlier, we have this person who's feeling that call in their soul. They're being pulled in, in maybe even in your direction. But maybe this person also likes to gamble in a sense. And that's why that Knight of Wands energy pops up. Maybe this person is the type that just kind of flies by the seat of their pants with the wheel of fortune popping up this is signifying like okay every time you take that turn remember the more the more turns you take it reminds me of a casino it's like the more you win the more you lose so um i guess what i'm trying to say is that I think this person is afraid to commit because they know that just as easily as they could probably have good luck they could also have bad luck okay it's a 50 50 shot top of the wheel bottom of the wheel um i don't know why i'm thinking of the wheel of fortune like the show but um you know it's always like right next to that amazing one that you want to get on that the next little bar is like zero or something really low so i think what this person might be afraid of is taking their shot at love taking their shot at this destiny um, that they've been shown and failing okay so it's a fear of failure i think that might be holding this person back so uh, let's keep going what else do we have here for leo knight of pentacles and Queen of Swords. So yeah, you know, and maybe this person is wanting to commit, right? Gosh, I can't even pick up these cards. It's like I can only slide them off the table altogether. So maybe this person does want to commit. They want to make an offer. They're coming in slow, slowly, but intentionally, right? Someone who is dedicated and loyal and stable, okay? Someone grounded, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with Queen of Swords here there could be an air sign that is um, maybe I don't know I'm hearing like manipulation maybe there's someone in their life that is kind of talking in their ear or um, telling them their truth and maybe that's kind of slowing them down so for some of you this person could be in another connection or this could be representative of your energy, Leo. Maybe this person is coming in too slowly for you. And what's happening for you is you're transforming and you could be um, living in your own truth and refusing to accept any sort of less than, quote unquote, from whoever this is coming in. So keep in mind, this could be exactly the fear that they have, that if they come towards you, prematurely when they don't have certain things or when they're not of a certain energy or if they're not really um, sure whether or not they want to commit that you're just gonna basically you know let their head roll okay queen of swords can be really cutting and blunt but um, I think that it's in a more classy way okay I see the queen of swords as someone who knows exactly what to say to to get what she wants or to get her point across and and it maybe might have taken you a long time to get to that point, Leo, because you yourself are a very loyal individual. And I feel like, you know, 
Leos are charismatic, like that energy of the Knight of Wands, and you have all of those fiery qualities, but again, your loyalty and, and commitment and dedication is unmatched. So I think that in order for this person to approach you, they would definitely need to be in their divine energy, um, in some sort of king or emperor status, because you want someone who's absolutely sure that they want to be with you and who's ready to manifest that commitment, okay? And I do also feel like you desire honesty above all else. So we have the Four of Wands signifying a stable, committed connection, twin flame connection. Uh, this could also signify marriage or a proposal. I do see this as, um, as two people really being dedicated to make things work. Um, this is two people who really want happiness and stability. So with the 1111 energy coming up in the middle of this reading, this could also be signifying, you know, tying the high priestess energy to the queen of swords, using your intuition, being very smart um, and calculated about how you're making moves in the world because you can essentially see what's coming. Okay. And in a sense, if you are connected with this person on that level, if you resonate with the twin flame soul connection journey, um, then this could be a mirroring energy. Uh, maybe you have essentially been causing this person to hold back or feel stuck because they know what you know, that they know that you know. Essentially, it's all the same, right? Connected via soul. You share the same thoughts. You share the same feelings. Um, but there's so much doubt and speculation surrounding those type of connections that sometimes it makes us jump to that defensive type energy where um, you know we want to be acknowledged and respected and cared for and we have this long list as feminines of, of things that we need to be checked off in order for us to be satisfied fulfilled and taken care of in a relationship so I think that whoever this message is for this specific message maybe the advice here is to um, worry about your own truth and don't worry about how this person is going to present themselves to you just worry about you and your own spiritual journey allow this person to come forward in whatever energy they choose because then you'll know is what I just heard then you'll know don't worry about what's gonna happen with this person just be open to receiving your um, your highest good and however this person comes forward um, accept that person for who they are don't put any unrealistic expectations on this person that's a lot of messages coming through for whoever that was but i feel like the twin flame journey is a really difficult one right it's it's not cut and dry this isn't like oh i found my soulmate and now we're going to live happily ever after now a lot of times twin flame journeys require separation it requires long periods of time of enlightenment and growth and transformation so in virgo season i feel like that's what's going to be happening here an acknowledgement of where maybe someone has been keeping themselves stuck or or playing small in a sense and ignoring their deeper feelings maybe going out and who knows this person could be going out partying or doing whatever the hell they want like i said one foot in one foot out but they're realizing that now with the wheel of fortune maybe this person could also be getting a dose of karma okay wheel of fortune is also the karmic wheel so you know I kind of feel like whoever this was was just set back right and they had to learn these lessons and I'm thinking of Pleasure Island from Pinocchio it's like Pinocchio wouldn't have learned all about bravery and how to be a real boy if he wasn't thrust into that dystopian society of kids basically running around and causing havoc smoking cigars drinking alcohol um, Pleasure Island is where the bad kids go to play right so maybe this person went and took a trip to Pleasure Island and and just did whatever the hell they wanted to do and and sowed their oats in a sense but I think that what ended up bringing them was a big dose of karma and a need to close out that cycle um, and start being more committed to to their future okay and I kind of feel like their future is you Leo um, Let's get a shuffle in because I feel like there were a lot of like messages coming through there and I just want to see oh, as I'm shuffling. 
Miss card comes out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's the fool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the fool, as we saw earlier when I cut the deck, the fool is that new beginning. It's taking a leap of faith, trusting the universe. So Leo, I think that's what you're being urged to do right now. You're looking back over your shoulder at all of the ways in which you've transformed, in which you've prepared yourself to take a risk in a new direction. And maybe what Spirit is telling you is that, you know, instead of worrying about what's to come after you jump off that cliff, just trust and believe that Spirit is going to carry you through. And everything that you um, receive and wherever you arrive, it's going to be the right place and the right time, okay? It's going to be what's supposed to happen. Let's see what else we have. Page of Wands. I'm not even surprised. This card has come up in every single reading I've done so far. And um, as of right now, I think I only have like four readings left. So um, that's like the majority of the Zodiac signs got this card. And every time I see it, I see something different. But in this reading, I am seeing the three of wands here with the three candles burning, the, um, the dragon resting, and her looking into the future through her crystal ball here. I do think that this is the situation of kind of waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for the manifestation to arrive, knowing that there's really not much else you can do. Um, but this passion and this energy and this excitement and future vision that you have of this new beginning that you're trying to create, that is what you're focused on right now. And it's important that you do focus on that. Okay, don't look behind you anymore. Don't look back at what happened with this person, okay? Don't focus on the past because how can you possibly manifest a bright new future if you're going to let the past bleed into your new vision? Um, you're just going to end up manifesting the same karmic cycles over and over again, okay? Let's see what else we have. Five of Wands. So obviously there's a lot of struggle and conflict here. I feel like whoever this is could be very conflicted. This could also be you. Um, this is aggression and arguments and, and just fighting, okay? Maybe you've been fighting with yourself about this future vision. Um, and maybe you're the one that's been, like I said, having those conflicting thoughts and sending those thoughts out to the universe. Like, I want this to happen or I don't want this to happen. And therefore, the universe is getting mixed messages, okay? This could be also signifying like a delay of your manifestation due to conflicting energy within you okay maybe you feel like you're being pulled in different directions um, or that you're gonna have to like fight um, this is also the energy too of of competition so maybe the reason that you're looking back on the past is because this person could have presented themselves in that knight of wands energy before which kind of made you feel like you had to um, compete against others to gain the affection or attention from your person or maybe you've been afraid that your person has been comparing you to the likes of others but i don't think that that's really happening as a matter of fact i feel like this person is definitely um having these feelings for you same as you are but it's like I said gonna require this person to deal with their karma and start being truly dedicated to their future so let's clarify the hanged man and the page of swords and find out more about why this person feels stuck Eesh. so the ten of swords clarifying this person has been backstabbed in the past Okay, whatever cycle ended for this person previous to you, I think that they've been stabbed in the back one too many times. They've been left at the bottom of the barrel one too many times, and they constantly feel like they are being betrayed or let down. This is also the ending of a painful cycle. So more of that looking back on the past energy is what I'm thinking. Maybe they're needing to end a situation or they're in the middle of some sort of situation right now that's keeping them feeling stuck. Um, also, and I'm also hearing if this person did present themselves as Knight of Wands energy in the past, this Ten of Swords could actually be the separation between you and them. 
I think maybe they're holding themselves back from speaking to you or clarifying their feelings because maybe they know that they stabbed you in the back, Leo. Maybe they know that they um, put themselves into a separation period with you that caused you to be heartbroken and feel dejected and and in need of shutting away um, a completely older version of yourself is what I just heard. So, you know, this 10 of swords just simply tells me like it couldn't get any worse than whatever that was. So whether this is a situation from their past that is not even having to do with you at all, or this signifies how they made you feel, which is why they know they kind of can't approach you. Maybe they are expecting you to cut them off. Maybe they deserve it, or maybe you have thought they had deserved it at one point. But with the Four of Wands coming up right after that energy, I feel like no matter what sort of truth needs to be spoken or whatever needs to be um, whatever needs to be clarified between you and this person, it's all about this connection, period. Okay, I think that you have been divinely guided towards this person. I feel like you both want this stable energy. You both love each other. Um, and you feel like you're being kind of called to this person, which could even make you feel frustrated, Leo. And I understand that feeling. So clarifying the moon, uh, I feel like the Seven of Cups is saying there has been a lot of illusion surrounding this connection. Um, maybe this was the type that was seemed like a dream or a fantasy and then all of a sudden there was just a bunch of smoke and mirrors and you know, this is also the energy of having a lot of options. So you know even though there are deep feelings here, I think what's being revealed is that this person did have other options. Okay, maybe this person made you feel that way. Okay, whether or not they did, um, this is confusion and a feeling of being overwhelmed. So they could also be overwhelmed by their feelings for you. But um, like I said, they're going to need to deal with this. They're going to need to deal with this having options type energy. So let's clarify more of the Knight of Wands. And the Three of Swords, yeah. So, you know, I hate to say it, but I kind of feel like this person definitely puts you in a third party situation. Um, two, three, four, however many more. Um, this person definitely broke your heart, okay? They, they did. And Three of Swords also represents separation. So I think, again, the reason they don't want to come forward is because basically they caused this separation between the two of you by breaking your heart and treating you like trash. And so now they're getting their karma for that. They are being put back on the path of stability. And I do feel like they're coming in your direction. Okay, but as you can see, you've got your back turned over here. So let's see what's gonna happen here with this person's karma. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune? Temperance. So again, more of that energy of divinely guided. This is spirit working behind the scenes to create the perfect alchemical balance to bring you and this person together. You're being divinely guided. It's going to require temperance. It's going to require patience, understanding. Um, and and you know, I see her pouring the water into the cup of fire um, and the rainbow coming out here. It's like everything that's happening um, within this connection is happening for a reason, okay? It's all happening for a reason. Everything is connected. The temperance card is also about balance. So I think that the Wheel of Fortune showing up with this being its card of clarity, I think this is basically spirit saying like, the universe is taking care of the details with this person. Whatever karma that they're going to face um, and whatever time frame that it takes, it's necessary, okay? Because this connection is supposed to be brought together, but it's not going to be brought together again unless it's in harmony, in balance. So let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Swords dynamic. Yeah, Five of Swords, not even surprised. Look, we literally have these same two characters here in this card. This dude's got the three of swords, okay? Just got done stabbing this girl's heart over here. He took his swords back. He's walking away, looking over his shoulder too, like, oh, is she coming after me? Um, and she's looking behind, not at him, but away from him. I feel like a major embarrassment here. 
I feel like whoever this was just maybe did you dirty and maybe there was a lot of confusion surrounding this um, connection. There was a lot of miscommunication. But I kind of feel like this person got what they wanted and walked away. But as you can see, these birds are after their ass and the birds represent spirit, messages from spirit. So I think that by doing this to you, what happened is, is it caused a major transformation within you and caused you to rise up in your warrior energy. Meanwhile, this Knight of Pentacles that went their own way is having to deal with their karma, okay? So Five of Swords could also be the energy of clearing the air from the past. So, you know, if this person approaches you, in some sort of like a changed energy and you feel like they're more stable um they're more grounded and you know aware of what they want to create in the future moving forward um, you might want to turn your back on this person especially after everything that they've done and maybe even things that they've said but i feel like spirit is urging you to just listen okay just listen to this person Hear them out and just let them say what they need to say. Like I said earlier, let this person show up however they're supposed to show up. Tiny little ass spider on my card. Oh my God, that was kind of scary. Um, where'd you come from, little spider? So let's clarify the four of wands. Let's clarify the future of this connection. Yeah, so with the Chariot and the Six of Pentacles, there's definitely a delay in the balance of this connection, period. There's a delay here. The Chariot is forward motion and action, but but balance is required. So the intention is there. The energy is there. They want to build this future with you and move things forward. But I think that they need to make sure that you guys are on the same page. So again, expect this person to come forward with some sort of of offer okay expect them to come forward with some sort of offer peace offering is what i'm hearing some sort of gift or token of their affection for you uh, i kind of feel like this person is they've got something to prove is what i'm hearing with the six of pentacles i think this person and a part of their karma is saying like you know and look even in the four of wands it looks like this woman's about to ride away and he's stopping her so I think this person has spent a long time gaining stability and finding balance for themselves financially, but this could also be the energy of someone giving to others, right? Or giving their energy to too many people, breadcrumbing energy. This could also signify third party situations, it's Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I think that this card and this card coming up clarifying the four of wands talking about what's going to come from this future with this person i do think that they are desiring to bring balance in i think they're ready to give back and reciprocate the energy that you give maybe they didn't do that in the past but i feel like what they want to tell you is that they're ready to do that now so let's clarify the full page of wands queen of wands in reverse so when I see the Queen of Wands in reverse, I think of like a manipulator, kind of the same thing as the magician energy in the reverse. Someone who um, who takes action to get what they want, but from a selfish place. This is not someone who is aligned with their soul. I also see the Queen of Wands in reverse as like a karmic female energy. So, you know, maybe that's exactly the karma that they received. Maybe they did put their energy into others in the past and um, maybe they realized that, you know, that energy was just bringing in people that did not have a divine quality like you do. So Queen of Wands upright obviously represents you, Leo. And um, again, your, your magic, your charisma, your passion, your energy, it's magical. And I think that's what this person is starting to see. Um, any time they would go off in a new direction or any time they would delay the manifestation of coming into union, they ended up with someone that was not in divine energy, okay? And I think it made things clearer and clearer for this person, just who it is that they left behind, which is you. So if you are still resonating with this story, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I was going to say, let's clarify for the five of wands. And I'm just going to say that that's the clarity because that's what I was thinking about. So the tower. 
major realizations, shock, foundations crumbling. And that's exactly what that energy brought into this person's life. This is just a reiteration. So if this person made you feel like you had to compete for their attention, if they made you feel like just an option, trust me, their karma was not great, okay? They were not able to build anything solid with any of these other options. So I think that it's great though because right underneath that card we have the six of swords and I feel like that's very relevant for you Leo I think when this person left you behind you might have gone through um, a period where maybe you just wanted to give up but I think it's symbolic that she's laying her swords down and she's walking um, in a new direction she's like leaving behind all of the the confusing energy of the past the painful um, separation that she had had to deal with she aka you or whoever this is in the storyline but this is someone realizing that none of that was really worth their time or energy and they're committed to finding peace and emotional healing moving on from anything that was was not good for them okay so we've got a lot of swords in this reading um so i feel like communication between you and this person maybe not has not been the best but seeing them coming in in the Knight of Pentacles energy, um, ready to approach the Queen of Swords, um, I'm hearing this person's got balls. Oh my gosh. So, you know, maybe you might feel that way after all that's been done and now they're going to come back and try to offer you what? Like, What do they even have to offer is what I'm hearing. So, like I said, hear this person out. Because if anything... Hearing this person out could end up bringing you closure if you feel like you don't want to actually come into union with this person and you do have a choice. But again, I have a feeling this person is going to come in as a changed person, okay? Just use your discernment. Obviously, I'm not talking about someone who's toxic and broke your heart on purpose and left you in a shambles and didn't give a crap about you. If this person's coming back around, you will be able to know with your high priestess energy, you will be able to discern whether or not this person is genuine or whether they're full of shit. Okay. Um, so let's see anything else. Knight of Cups, excuse me, King of Cups in the reverse. So we know the King of Cups to be someone who's very deep and full of emotion, um, someone who, you know, obviously is empathetic, kind, all of those things. But in the reverse, I feel like what that's signifying is maybe this person didn't really know how deep their emotions were for you, but I don't really feel like they're wanting to hold them back anymore. I feel like the King of Cups in reverse is saying, Okay, they're ready to like spill their feelings and they're ready to be um, upfront about about their emotions for you. So interesting. Let's see what's coming out of the fairy tale in Normand. What could be the challenge in the season of Virgo for Leo, please? Oh, so we have the Queen of Swords again coming out in the bouquet. <clears throat> We have the Alice in Wonderland image of all of the flowers singing. If you haven't seen Alice in Wonderland, you better stop watching this video and go get Disney Plus right away. So Queen of Swords and Ace of Swords. We have the lady and the lady represented by Cinderella. Okay. Cinderella was very sharp, very, um, very clear about who she was as a person. She was very honest. And her honesty and her kindness helped her elevate in society and become a queen, okay? So I do think that with the Queen of Swords coming up next to the Ace of Swords, the challenge is definitely going to be allowing this person to communicate their truth without cutting them off. So I think the energy of Cinderella here is reminding you that you are classy, you are poised, you are loyal, and you are the high priestess, okay? You intuitively know what's coming. And so if you're waiting for some sort of, um, like I said, I think this could be a peace offering coming your way. Um, and, you know, going back to the Alice in Wonderland theme here, I'm hearing the whole off with their heads type thing. So 
just remember, channel Cinderella, channel her kindness, channel her wisdom, um, and show this person the same kindness you would show anyone else. It's not up to you for this person to prove themselves. It's up to them to prove themselves to you. So kind of feel like spirit is telling you they're going to show up with some sort of an offer. They're going to uh, make it clear that they want to make things work and you are going to be the one who has the final say okay so that is going to be the challenge up ahead and look at that we have the gentleman at the bottom of the deck signifying the ace of cups so what did i say literally an image of a prince offering his cup of love i mean you can't get any more literal than that so they're definitely going to come forward and uh, i have a feeling they're going to want to work on things and show you that they've completed some major life cycles that have brought them back to you Okay, so let's get some, Im let's get some, I almost said images, but let's get some messages from the Secret Garden Oracle. Um, and like I said, I will have all of these decks listed in the bottom of the description box. So if you are enjoying this reading, do not forget to hit the like button um, and that will boost the algorithm and get this message out to more people. So first off we have be present use the hours don't count them so you know maybe you are able to anticipate this person coming in but don't worry about what's coming okay don't worry about what this person says or what they're going to do um, focus on being present to receive the present okay um, and that goes for the past too you can't be present if you're lingering in the past and i have a feeling with that six of swords you've you've really worked hard on healing from that past so you also have discover look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun so i kind of have this feeling of like something is going to be uncovered um something that maybe has been in front of you all the while that you didn't see um, and i'm hearing there's something there that wasn't there before so now i'm thinking of beauty and the beast so courage that's you leo courage is one of the main elements of your sign when picking roses don't fear the thorns so like i said don't be afraid of what's up ahead you've already kind of dealt with the worst is what i'm seeing here in this tarot spread so anything that happens after this can't possibly be worse than what you already went through with this person and so whether or not they intentionally meant to hurt you i kind of feel like you know maybe they weren't thinking about how their actions would affect you and again looking back on it they're seeing exactly how effed up it was that they treated you and they're like making it their business to come back as a changed person we've got play among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover so and i love the little mushroom circle here and i actually have a mushroom circle right here um with little crystal mushrooms because you know i think spirit's really just telling you to focus on your own happiness right now okay discover new things about yourself focus on you focus on your healing do things that bring you joy be playful and in a light-hearted energy and again i'm channeling that cinderella um type of vibe okay vibe like cinderella because cinderella's kindness brought her the best things in the world that she probably would have never even dreamed of but you know as she's saying a dream is a wish your heart makes and you know whatever's going on in your heart right now leo only you are going to know okay just remember that um the only way you're going to be truly happy is when you are when you are following your heart okay when you're following your heart and you're being true to your feelings so let's see what we have from the wisdom of the fairy oracle while this reading has been really long sorry about that if you're still even watching if you are uh, thank you for sticking with me in this long ass reading it's only supposed to be 30 minutes but you know sometimes when the messages are coming they're coming okay so first off the advice here is green men's bride so sacred union commitment ceremony maturing into deep relationship so i do feel that strong earth energy coming in here as well this person could be an earth sign with some fire placements but i see this as someone really coming in like i said to prove themselves this is sacred union here commitment ceremony maturing into deep relationship and you know what what was the card that was on the bottom of the deck here please tell me it was the hierophant i think it was it certainly was 
certainly was. Okay, so I do think Spirit's telling you that there is definitely potential for this connection to happen, okay, to get off the ground. There's potential for commitment, and um, it's not just some 3D bullshit relationship. This is something sacred. It's sacred union. That is the energy of the Four of Wands. And then also we have Stardust. I love this. Premonition. <laughs> We're just talking about the High Priestess energy. You intuitively knowing or getting dreams or having visions about what's to come. Galactic communications, beginnings and endings. So, wow, I kind of feel like this card basically recapped the cards that we got at the beginning, the high priestess in the world. So, Stardust, I feel, isn't there a song called Stardust by Nat King Cole? I think there, I think that it is called Stardust. Um, focus on your wish, okay? What are you really truly wishing for? Do you want to manifest this connection with this person? Are you wanting this connection to have a final ending or are you just wanting it to begin? Okay, so when I see galactic communication, uh, you could be like a star seed, okay? Um, or again, just getting messages from the universe. Pay attention to those messages because I feel as if they're very important. But don't cling to them too much to where you're not being present, okay? Um, continue to stay in that lighthearted energy, and I have a feeling everything is going to work out splendidly for you, Leo. So hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated with someone out there. Um, if it did, like I said, hit the like button, comment below if it's your story, and also um, if you want something else to watch if this reading wasn't long enough for you. I have also linked your Virgo season reading from last year um, for you as well. So if you'd like to see how far you've come since then, I definitely urge you to check that video out. And other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoy Virgo season and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Love you. Bye.